Hello, and welcome to another episode in our series on getting started with the Java client library for the Google Ads API. I'm Mattia Tomazone, and as you know, if you watched the other videos in this series, I'm a developer relations engineer working on the Google Ads API. In this episode, we will create a new Java project and import the client library for the Google Ads API as a dependency. As usual, I will walk you through the steps required to do so. I will be using IntelliJ IDEA as my IDE because it's the one I'm most familiar with, but of course, you can use any other development environment you like. First of all, we are going to create a new project. You can do so by clicking on the New Project button or from the File menu if you are already inside a project. I'm going to enter a name for my project. I'll be using Getting Started Java. I don't need to create a Git repository right now. Then I'll be using Java as my language and Gradle as my build system. You can also use Maven if you prefer. I'll leave you a link to the instruction on how to configure the client library with Maven in the video description below. I'll be using JDK 11, but of course you can use any other version. I'll also leave the add sample code checkbox checked to have the IDE generate a basic main function for me. I'll click the create button and the IDE will create necessary files for me. Note that it also created a main class that prints a hello world in the place where Gradle expect the source code for my application to be, source slash main slash java, in an org.example package. Let me zoom in a bit here to increase the font size, and then I can run the main class. As you can see, it works out of the box, and it just prints hello world. Now, what I want to do is to add the Java client library for the Google Ads API as a dependency. To do so, I need to open my build.gradle file and add an implementation dependency on the Java client library in the dependencies section. If I was using Maven, the process would have been similar. I would just add a dependency in my pom.xml file. For details on how to do this, check out the link to the configuration instructions in the video description below. Now, if I reload the Gradle changes, my IDE rebuilds the project and includes the Java client library for the Google Ads API. Note that if this is the first time I build a project, depending on the client library, Gradle or Maven will download it along with all the other libraries it depends on from Maven Central, and this may take a bit of time. Now, let's go back to my main class. If the client library for the Google Ads API has been imported correctly, I should be able to use the classes it contains in my source code. So let's try adding a campaign field to my main class. As you can see, my IDE is able to autocomplete the class name, including the campaign class from the Java client library. And if I autocomplete, it also automatically adds the import clause on top of my file. This means that my project is ready to use the Google Ads API. In the next episode, we will configure the credentials we obtained in the previous videos so that we can authenticate to the API. I'll see you there.